All right, so the dehumidifier that I ordered for the RV just came in. Let's go ahead and take this thing out of the box and check it out. And this is the dehumidifier out of the box. It's stuffed pretty tight, but it has everything it needs in there, which pretty much is this. There's not a whole lot more to it. There is, of course, on the back here, there is the cord. It's wrapped around there. And it also has a drain hose that it comes with that's right here. And that's if you want to use the continuous pump option, which doesn't put the water in the bottom tank. The hose is used for when you're going to continuously pump water out of the air outside or, or into a drainage area. But I would assume most people are going to just use the tray that's inside and then dump the tray. That is what we plan to do in the RV is to just let it collect water in the tank down below which is right down here it has a little level indicator there on the front so you can see how much water has collected inside that tank and it does have an auto shut off so if that tank fills up then it will turn off so that way it doesn't overflow and get everywhere if you can see here on the top it's got a pretty good detailed panel so it has a lot of different options i totally recommend you to go in and read the manual about all the different settings because there are a lot of different options you can set on this you can set a timer mode you can set it to pump out the back or into the tank. You can set it to turn on and off based upon the humidity in the air. So there's a lot of different settings that you can use on this and they're all explained well in the manual. So if you wanna use the pump on the back, if you wanna do that, when you open up this tank, this is the water tank, where the water would get collected in normal operation, but there is an adapter right here and it shows that in the manual. This adapter is what has to be used in the back with the hose that they provided for the pump. So to pump water straight out of the unit, out the back of the unit, there is what looks like a hose adapter back there, but it's specifically meant to be used with this adapter and the hose that they provided. But if you're not gonna use that, of course, all the water will collect into this and you just drain the water right out of this tank. So I got the unit running in the office. That's why there's a little echo. But when I turned it on, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, it said the humidity in the room was 53, and now it's down to 46. I do have this set to the high fan speed, and I have it just set to continuous, so that way it just keeps going until I tell it to stop. But it's already pulling the humidity down in the room, and it should be collecting all of that liquid down in this tank in the bottom of the unit. Now I'm gonna let this run a little while, so since this is gonna be in the RV, I wanna test this out here, make sure there's no issues, make sure everything functions properly, and then I can go put it in the RV where it would then be in storage. There's a fan speed on this. You can put different speeds, and it blows pretty good. Like I said, this is on high right now. There's definitely some air movement here, and you can even make it where this little lid here will rotate back and forth. That's what the swing option is for here. So I'm gonna let this run a little while longer and see how much humidity it collects in that tank. All right, so this dehumidifier has been running for, I don't know, maybe an hour, hour and a half, something like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and check how much water it has. It definitely shows on the top up here that it has dropped the humidity in this room. There's a lot of benefits of dehumidifiers. You can definitely look into that. But the main reason we want this dehumidifier is because we are gonna have it in the RV. So one, we go to places sometimes that just have high humidity. So it starts building up in the RV, gets stuffy in the RV, even with the air conditioner running, you know, we want something to pull that moisture out of the air to help cool the room down, make it feel more comfortable. But also in an RV, if you have a lot of humidity, you're gonna start having mold issues and you know, water for an RV is not good when it gets in the walls or it starts condensating on your windows, things of that nature. So you want to try to keep the humidity in your RV down. Not only does it make it more comfortable in the RV, but it, it makes your RV healthier. So let's go ahead and turn this thing off. The power button is here. As you can see, that will close. It takes a second. And it sounds like it's still draining a little bit of water down. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead now and open it up and check the water. Wow, it's got a decent amount of water in there for the little bit of time I was running it. Can you see that? Don't know how much water that is that it collected, but it's significant. All right, so I dumped the water. 
Another thing is, is this thing comes on casters, so it's easy to move around. If you're an RVer, there could definitely be some other benefits of a dehumidifier that you can take even to the next level and reuse the water coming out of the dehumidifier. If you thought this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, if you would do that, that really helps me out. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Y'all take care.